So the last time you guys saw us, Pumbaa taking an absolute beating, shit was falling off him left, right and centre. But with the help of a fellow overlanding friend, Greg, who detoured a couple of hundred k's to come give us a hand, Pumbaa's back up and running. Unfortunately, he's still a bit rough around the edges, so we have to stick to Tarsil Roads. Yeah, it's not going to be super eventful driving to South Africa, but the good news is we should still be seeing some pretty cool stuff on the way to our final destination. Hoorah! The speed limit here in Namibia on the highways is 120 k's an hour. Our speed range is between 60 to 80 k's on a good day. I think we've been dubbed the slowest vehicle in the whole of Africa. <laughs> but we're getting there, slowly. It's official, baby! We've crossed the last border! <laughs> We're in the last country of our trip. We're in South Africa. We're on the home straight. We've driven the whole west coast. I'm quite emotional. Why are you so happy? I'm chuffed. Pumba just has to hold it together for the <laughs> last, last leg. Which means that after 277 days, 20 countries, 40,000 kilometers, and 40,000 kilometers, we're nearly at the end of the road. I never thought we would get this far, did you? I you knew we were gonna make it, I didn't think Pumba was gonna make it. <laughs> and we're nearly at the bottom of Africa. Ah! Yeah. It's Table Mountain. We're here! 17 k's to go, baby! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gatsby for dinner, which is like a classic South African kind of greasy takeaway thing. And we're like, it's four euro, how big can it possibly be? <laughs> it's fucking 
mess it. I'm sweating. <laughs> Fell out of our stuff. It is huge. Oh, oh my Jesus. God. excitement today we managed to pull some road workers out that got their truck bogged so we're not doing any off-roading but we still got to go out and have some fun to a pineapple farm just outside of Port Elizabeth. It's where we're going to be storing Pumba for maybe a year or so before we can come back to Africa. I'm really sad to say goodbye to him but it's not the last goodbye. farm. Yeah. <laughs> Time to clean out our baby. Look at all that <laughs> crap. God, that is going to take forever. Nine months of hard, nine months of hardware on this camera. My lens is finally cut, but I can only use it on Zoom. So this is how you're going to be looking at us from now on. Hi. Oh, that's terrifying. Pumper's all cleaned and parked up and he's gonna live for the next little while here amongst the pineapples in South Africa. I am so depressed that it's over. How are you feeling? Uh, it's kind of surreal to be honest. Uh, yeah, I don't, it's hard to believe that this is all over. But not to worry, we've got Puma parked up with the pineapples as Kristen said and we're planning on coming back. We're gonna get him fixed up while he's here and it's gonna be Africa part two. Booyah! <laughs> It's a 
nice and early in the morning. We're about to jump on a 12 hour bus to Cape Town and we're hungover. I miss Pumba a lot. Finally done and dusted. Time to go home. from New Zealand, our beautiful home country. We made it back here and we're still alive. What a surprise. We have, we've made it back. We've got our haircuts. We're getting our lives back on track. But not to worry, the adventures are still gonna be happening. Most of them will be here in New Zealand for the time being, while we're planning on what we're gonna be doing in Africa when we head back. Mm -hmm. We're also gonna be doing a wee bit of a video on how we did Ireland to Africa, what it cost us. A bit of an unofficial debrief. Yes. <laughs> So all the damage to the truck, there was lots of it. So keep an eye out for that and keep following the adventure. Heidi Darm, we'll see you next time. Yeah, Bye. Yeah, yeah.